Now, you've probably seen a lot of stories like this lately. And this, and this, and this. Now, primarily the issue in these cases are rising interest rates, which make it so that people aren't able to close on homes. But there are more problems with pre-sales than just that. So here are five of those problems. But first, what are pre-sales? Now, very quickly, they're effectively an agreement between a buyer and seller to purchase a home in the future that has not been built yet for an agreed upon price. Now, pre-sales can represent a very good deal for people, especially when the market is going up. It's also often necessary for a builder to pre-sell a certain number of homes in order to get financing for the project. This is especially true in condominium projects. So here are the issues. Number one, not securing financing. Pre-sales typically take upwards of nine months to build and mortgage pre-approvals are only good for about 120 days. So after those 120 days, if interest rates go up, rules change, you may not be able to get financing and would lose your deposit. Number two, the risk that the project is delayed. This happens very often. The project will have a projected timeline, but issues arise and it gets delayed for months or years. If you were planning on moving in on a certain date, or are you just like planning for the future? You can't do that with pre-sales. There are typically no guarantees. Number three, the risk that the project is canceled altogether. As mentioned, the purpose of pre-sales is typically to get financing for the builder. But if they don't pre-sell enough units or if market conditions change, the project can be canceled altogether. And you could have had your deposit in for months or years while the market was going up, only to find out later that it's not going ahead. Number four, cost increases. Especially during COVID, it was common for builders to ask for more money as the home is being built if it's vaguely justified because of increasing labor costs or material costs. This is now often written into the contract. So that price you agreed to were pre-approved for a mortgage for and budgeted for, well, you may need to pay even more. And if you can't afford that, you breach the contract and lose your deposit. Number five, poor quality. These are actual pictures from a new home that cost $250,000 more than the average priced home here in Halifax. It was from a fairly big builder who's been building for a long time. The home is technically functional and received its occupancy permit, but the cosmetic quality is terrible. The show home was excellent, but since the unit you were agreeing to buy wasn't built yet, you never really know what you're getting. And that's it. But it's not all doom and gloom though. There are certain things that you can do to mitigate these challenges through contracts. If you're interested in doing that with a pre-sale, feel free to contact me. My contact information is in the description.